In this video, I'll be geek benching the late 2012, 21 and a half inch, somewhat skinny Apple iMac. So guys, I did an unboxing and first boot. Go ahead and check out youtube.com forward slash iTechEverything if you want to see those. So going through the specs, we've got a 2.7 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 processor with six megabytes L3 cache and Turbo Boost up to 3.2 gigahertz. And uh, with Turbo Boost, basically this is a quad-core processor, but the OS sees it as an eight-core processor. It's got eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 SD RAM, which is non-upgradable. So if you want 16 gigs, make sure you customize that when you order your iMac. It's got a one terabyte 5400 RPM drive. So that is quite a slow hard drive and definitely nowhere near the speed of an SSD. So don't expect applications to open particularly fast in comparison to a computer with an SSD installed. However, once again, when you buy this, you can get a custom order with what Apple are calling the Fusion Drive, which is basically an SSD and hard drive uh, hybrid. And that should be significantly faster than the stock 5400 RPM drive. So if you want that, get that when you order it because it's non-upgradable, I think, although I might be wrong on that. And it's got an NVIDIA GeForce GT 640M, so that's a mobile processor with 512 megabytes of GDDR5 memory. So we'll go ahead and launch Geekbench. I have nothing else running at the moment. This is 64 bit and we'll run benchmarks. So that finished pretty quickly, and as you can see, we've got a Geekbench score of 9,063, which is quite high. We've got a processor integer performance of 7,618, processor floating point performance of 12,191, memory performance 6,649, memory bandwidth performance 8,002, and I'll just scroll down the rest of these. And I won't read them out though because they are somewhat less important. But you can pause the video and read them if you want to. So 9063 is a pretty impressive Geekbench score for the entry level iMac. However, it still doesn't come close to my 2008 8-core Mac Pro, which has a Geekbench score of right around 12,000. So hey guys, that's it for the Geekbench test of the late 2012 Apple iMac. Stay tuned for plenty more videos on this bad boy. If you're in the US and want to buy it, my Amazon link is below. Go and give me a thumbs up as I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below, click subscribe right above, and follow me on Twitter over at twitter.com forward slash iTechEverything for updates, when videos are coming out, comments, and whatever I feel like tweeting. See you guys in the next one.